finals next summer. You can see the action on Midweek Sports Special at 10.35 on ITV tonight. Also tonight, Daley Thompson in action in the Blitz Decathlon from Holland, plus all the latest football news on a busy night, and this World Cup action from here in Bucharest. Midweek Sports Special, 10.35 tonight. Welcome to Bucharest. They start that welcome again. Welcome to Bucharest with the temperature here in the 70s and a crowd in this all-seater stadium of 80,000, some arriving at the ground by 8 o'clock this morning. Tickets like gold dust here in Romania. Right, I'll give you the next thing I will talk over for those of you back in uh, Houston is the Romanian team caption so that we can keep it down to a minimum. Unless there is a picture of some consequence that I will try and find some words for. Just another voice test then for you. One, two, three, four, five. 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 two national anthems and next it will be the team captions I gave you the line just in case you wanted to include any of the national anthems in editors the two captains Neil Yoshi of Hungary on the right 
and uh, Stefanescu, the number five for Romania on the left. First, the Hungarian team. They've not played since England beat them in Budapest. Uh, just wondering how their morale is going to be. Not helped by an injury to their goalkeeper, Katsiets, who played against England. Metzarosh takes his place. Three other changes from that defeat in Budapest see the arrival of Tote and Shalai in defence and Rab into the midfield. Romania, a blow for them is that their goalkeeper, Yordachi, who played in both matches against England, is out injured. Christian takes his place, but it's a consistent side, and six of them come from the champion club of this country, University Craiova. Practically the side that beat England 2-1 here in this same stadium in a World Cup qualifier a year ago. The referee today is Eric Linnemeyer of Austria his last international at 48 years of age. And so it's the Hungarians who get us away in the dark shirts of red, attacking the goal to our right. Romania in yellow shirts and blue shorts. A match that has such a bearing as the Romanians get, or rather the Hungarians get a free kick straight away on England's chances of qualifying. I suppose most people at home must be hoping that Romania will win. The team in the yellow is the team that all English fans should support in this particular game because England's World Cup fate if the Romanians win today is back in their own hands they really need only to beat Hungary well at Wembley in November and England would qualify on goal difference it's a free kick for the Hungarians here's the Yoshi will have such a big effect for them in the midfield and another free kick mind you we're not dead and buried should the Hungarians win because then we depend on others, but then the Romanians would uh, have to beat Switzerland home and away to stop England going through. A draw is the worst possible result that England could have from this game. The best would be a win, as I say, for the yellow-shirted Romanians. Well, there was an early touch for the big goalkeeper, George Christian. And yet the Romanians have a not very good record against the Hungarians. The record books show, in fact, that they've never beaten them. Chisan was well beaten there by a swift Hungarian tackle. Toroczyk a little on the slow side there. Pajekas trying to get in, but in fact the Montanu, the number three for Romania, swift with his challenge. Jordanescu brought down and a free kick. In point of fact, it could be a yellow card straight away there. For Tok, the uh, for Martos rather, the Hungarian defender, in the first two minutes of the game, there is no love lost whatsoever between these two nations, and the pressure on both sides in the opening minutes of this World Cup qualifier is plain to see. Enormous pressure on the Romanians. The vast crowd here are willing them to win. There's a big banner that says "Now or Never." And the Hungarians know that they have to get a good result here as well, or they might easily have blown their chances of qualifying in Spain. Romania, remember, in the yellow shirts. The team that Ron Greenwood is here as well. There's a referee again giving another yellow card, this time to a Romanian on the far, on the far side. And this must be creating a little bit of history in an international game. In the first three minutes, we have two yellow cards. That time it was... Uh, Stoika, the number 10 for Romania, 
added to one already taken by Martos of Hungary. Rab beaten in the air. This is Kish on the far side, a very lively attacker for the Hungarians as England found in Budapest. But a throw for Romania, Negrilia with it. Now the captain, Stepanescu. A boiling day here, as it has been for the last two or three days, with the temperatures well into the 70s, and that's a good long ball there, giving Krishan the chase, but in fact, Valint, the Hungarian defender, was quite happy to let that one go over for the goal kick. Goalkeeper Metzaros plays for Sporting Lisbon. One of whose coaches these days is Malcolm Ellison. Fish beaten in the air by the number two Negrilia. That's the Hungarian bench with their manager on the right there, Kalman Metzoli. Centre forward Kamataru, tangling with uh, Garaba, but it's Romania on the move again. Jordanescu beaten though by Martos, and here's Fazekas, but he showed too much of that to Stefanescu. And the Romanian captain finding a little space for himself in the middle of the field there, but unfortunately for him, Krishan had slipped as the pass was about to be delivered. And I think just a little bit of nervousness showing on both sides with so much at stake for them here. So Metzaros with another clearance for the Hungarians. Beldanu. To Jordanescu, the man who scored a penalty against England here. It's cost England dear. And the Romanians 1-2-1. This is little Prishan again. So lively. Number six, Beldanu again. And a long, long shot. Way off the target there by Samish. Number four. 30 years old and 45 caps. There's a lot of experience in both sides. Hungarians boast a side that average age is 28 years. And now it's Kish on the far side. Stefanescu, the sweeper, getting in there first. The number 10, Brab. Back in again here for Torokchik, such a talented player, but so temperamental as well. And the Hungarians getting possession there with Tote. Played here for Kish. Brought down, it looked to me as though he was brought down in the penalty area, but there was nothing given, and the Hungarians looking hard at the Austrian referee for that one. Hungarians beat Romania by a goal to nil in Budapest. Neil Yoshi, such an elegant player, winning a corner there off the number three, Montana. pace I imagine will be a little languid because it's a baking day here and Fajakash the most experienced player in this Hungarian side winning his 82nd cap today with the corner now for the Hungarians hit very deep indeed Christian just pouring it away Kish looking to get it back no he doesn't need to because he knows the Hungarians get a corner which Fajr Cash will go right to the other side. You can see him there going through that six-yard area. To take this corner for the Hungarians as well. We've not played since they were beaten on the 6th of June in the Nep Stadium in Budapest by England 3-1. Fajr Cash then with the corner again. Knocked away there, not very far. Ioneshku. And here come Romania now with Beldanu. Balac couldn't get it. Garaba. Played the ball here for Rab. 
And now here's Kish on the right touch line. Defender backing off him. Montano. And no foul there. A good fair challenge that time by the Romanians. And the referee was perfectly placed to see it. Kamataru couldn't take possession of that. The tall young Romanian front striker. And here's Miljoshi. Playing it wide on the far side here. And again now for Fajikash. Still with Fajikash. Well, he had a chance maybe of a shot himself, but preferred to play this ball here for Kish. And he's well off the target with that one. And so it's a goal kick to Romania. Going wide for Negrila. Kamataru brought down, free kick. So a chance now for the Romanians to see what they are made of when a ball is locked into the penalty area. I would think they would wait for Kamataru to get in there. He is certainly the tallest fellow. And coming up from the back is uh, Samesh, the number four. And he's played for Samesh, in fact, and his header was too high. But the Hungarians were very slow indeed, marking him and picking him up. That ball's got to go outside the penalty area and that goal kick will have to be taken again. Tremendous atmosphere in the stadium, 80,000 all seated. Tickets like gold dust around Bucharest. And a whole queue of people. Outside the ground at 8 o'clock this morning. Now that header from Samish was well off the target. And now the Hungarians get a free kick. Not many supporters here for them. Karokšić playing it through there for Nuljoshi, a midfielder with a very good goal-scoring record, but stopped there. And here's the number eight, Jordanescu. Balac. Montano. Jordanescu again. Trying to buy himself a yard of pace, but the Hungarian number five, Shalai, Stuck with him at the expense of a corner. So Balac. Kamataru's waiting in the middle. Balac looking. What amazing little run this. Trying to set it up there for his fullback Montano, but he couldn't quite reach him. And there's an indication already that both these Romanian wingers, Prishan the number seven and Balac the number eleven. Here's Balac. Could well cause problems down the flank flanks for the uh, Hungarians this afternoon. Tarokic, Miljoshi, sign in here is uh, number five, Shalai, and Stefanescu. Kamataru. Coming very deep. A bit of support from Balac. But not enough. Smartosh. With the throw. Fazikash. Kamataru couldn't keep it in. Well, I can't think what he was thinking of. It was quite clearly a Hungarian throw, which Martos will take. Niliosi. Martos. Now the captain, Stefanescu. Samesh. Ionescu, a nice little turn there by Ionescu, taking it into the box there, and uh, Garaba must have just clicked off the Hungarian number six, 
to give Romania another corner. So English hopes will rise again because remember, England to stand a good chance of qualifying. The Romanians must this next one and just wide there by Shamesh. But for the second time in this game, this big defender has come forward and has been allowed an awful lot of space. Let's look at the space. The Hungarians watching the ball and not watching the man and his side foot going wide. Constant noise and constant drumming here, trying to get the Romanians into a winning frame of mind. But at the moment, it's the number 10, Rob. But here come the Romania again. Waiting here again for Ionescu. Coming off on this left-hand side, Montanu. Brought down by Miyoshi. Claimed it was a foul. I'm not sure whether the referee is taking any notice or not. No goals then, with about uh, 13 minutes gone. Balac. On the ball now for Romania. Right across the line there to Krishan. In again, but again the Hungarians getting it away. That was Tote got that one away. Montano. Ionescu. Beldanu. Balac. And now Hungary. The skipper Tibor Niyoshi. The game here for Tarokchik. They went away very nearly on the edge of the penalty area, the Romanians, and there were just enough yellow shirts around to recover and to make good ground here. Stoiker coming a long, long way before he tried his shot. But a chance now for Balac with a little bit of space here. And wide of Kamataru, Dolphin. with Tote down the left flank. Taronti and Tote suddenly there are a few Hungarians forward again Stefanescu who's swept really well at the back of this opening quarter of an hour or so for the Romanians. Gets it away again to Tisha. Stoika going in there bravely but I don't think it's going to run here for Kamataru and a goal kick. an experienced man, Metsarosh, although he came in at the last moment for Katsiat, he's won 20 caps, he's 30 years old. Miyoshi. Getting Martosh, the full back down there, with Fazakash waiting in the middle. And a good bit of defensive play, in fact, in the end there by the Romanian number 11, uh, Ili Balac. And a goal kick then to Romania. George Christian, their goalkeeper. Kamutara, sucking under that header. And the bounce went nicely for uh, Ionescu. Krisan getting around his man, the little cross coming in and just behind both the number six, Beldanu and Kamataru, but in the end it's a free kick to the Hungarians. But enough just to suggest that once or twice the Romanians are getting in behind this Hungarian defence and finding a little bit of space and hopefully for all England's hopes at any rate they will before long find a goal. England, let me repeat, badly needing Romania to win in the yellow shirts here in Bucharest this afternoon against Hungary. But it's the Hungarians with Fazekas until Stefanescu gets in there, the captain, Fazekas. 
playing in Belgium at the moment with the Antwerp club. Korokic, who's a bit of a playboy, but such a player. And he's beaten there quite easily by Samesh. Here's Stefanescu. A little flick on, inviting Montano to go and get possession to shake off Niljoshi. But in the end, he's fallen. And Raab, having made his pass, the whistle from the Austrian referee, Eric Linnemeyer, had gone, giving a free kick to Romania. and it's a throw which Crisan will take for Romania Kamataru closely watched there by Garava Samesh nice accurate little header there played in here once more to Beldanu and that's easily cut out there by Tote and they were a little lucky there, the Hungarians, but here's Niljoshi and the ball coming for Kish, who was a good five yards offside. Negrilia. And a throw to Romania. Negrila with it. A chance now for Romania to come in here. Will the header no? Hartosh got that header in and got it away from a very dangerous situation there for Hungary. As Tote there, shoving the back there on Tarokchik by Samish. And a free kick for the Hungarians. Taken already. Could easily have caught the Romanians out. The Austrian referee quite right to allow that to be taken quickly and they very nearly caught them sleeping but now the Romanians get a free kick for the foul on Kamataru. And I think you can see already that there really is no love lost between these two uh, nations. And the chance coming in there, the Hungarians all over the place and even Jordanescu was allowed right in there with what was a free header and there was nobody following up. Once or twice this Hungarian defence is really beginning to creep. But a throw now for the Hungarians. Whose preparations for this game were slightly curious. They've had no warm-up since they lost to England in Budapest and they flew into Bucharest pretty late last night have not had a training session here since they arrived. Played on the game for Kishan. And a corner for Romania. Kishan will take it. Sanish is coming forward again. Balac off uh, Romanian number two, Martos, for another corner. for Negrilia, he had time to tee that up but then the shot was charged down there was an offside in any case and a free kick to the Hungarians to shake hands but the Romanian wants none of that he wants to get the free kick taken and has done so Negrila now on the ball for Romania Mataru Arach a little back heel there and the, the shot by Montano quite easily blocked by the Hungarian defence but a throw for Romania with a chance now to keep this pressure on the visitors 
Bill Donu. Balach. Lovely close skills again from this number 11, Balach. Plays it for Samish. And an offside as well. So a really powerful drive from Stefan Samish. After some very good work by the number 11, Balach. Laid that nicely into his path. Coming forward really quickly, a powerful shot, but you can see there was a yellow shirt offside. Over halfway through the first half, Romania nil, Hungary nil. And a match where England's hopes of qualifying depend largely, but not entirely, upon Romania winning. Big kick to Hungary. This time, uh, referee Linnemeyer did not allow it to be taken quickly. And indirect. for Prisan, but it's played back in turn to the Hungarian goalkeeper, Mesaros. Kish going off on another run. Nekrilia with him, and he still gets it in. Your Christian Gallas for the Romanians. Played for Potesti against Nottingham Forest in the European Cup a couple of three seasons back, the Romanian people. It's going to be a throw to Romania. Kamutaru, out with him though. More pressure now with Prishan and a corner. Kick to Romania. And it 
that's allowed a game to be taken not only quickly but from totally the wrong spot there by the Austrian referee but all to no avail it was a handball on the far side by Krishan it should be a free kick to the Hungarians although they've taken a throw it'll be a free kick Chased by Montano. And here's Balak. Give it a play there by Samus. Balak playing the ball through once more for Ionescu, but the Hungarian defence had closed very quickly indeed. And it was good work by Laszlo Balint. with the throw Stefanescu everybody except the Romanian goalkeeper now in the Hungarian half of the field Montano playing it towards the big center forward again and come out here once more with a shot by Stryker over the top was never going to cause a lot of trouble to the Hungarians. So Rab now, trying to get it wide there for Kish, brought down, free kick to the Hungarians. Half an hour gone. Romania nil, Hungary nil. So Tarovchik is over there to sum up something, but it's not he who takes the kick. And it very nearly came through all the way there for the number 11, Kish. Fazikash, chance to turn it back again. A deep one there. Tarovchik on the far side a little toe poke that was off target and provides the Romanians with a goal kick. better half chances without creating a clear chance as yet for themselves but here's Pichan no foul referee waving his hands away as the Romanians claim the penalty not given a throw instead Ionescu Stefanescu Samesh Stefanescu again. Maybe for Negrilla. It's a very slow, laboured build-up in this intense heat. But now sweeping it wide here for Montano. And he's shown far too much of that to the Hungarians. And maybe a chance for them to break if Fajakash can uh, latch hold of this one. Here's Fajakash being chased by uh, Samesh. And enough Romanians coming back, but Bajakash was caught there as uh, Montano went hard for that ball and gets a free kick for the Hungarians. Karovšik, a rather lazy pass there. Balac, who looks as though he could be a really lively character down that left flank. That was a good ball he played there to Kamataru. 
he's got a bit of pace this big number nine brought down in a free kick well Garaba was chasing him and in the end I think there was just one intention in his mind and it's a free kick from a promising position now for the Romanians just outside that Hungarian penalty area Kamatara, the number nine, is somebody surely they'll aim for. Although Samesh has come forward as well. Curling, in fact, <laughs> straight to the keeper from uh, Bjordanescu. Might have uh, fooled them by hitting it straight to the keeper, but it's Aros as well behind it. Valent, who's gone forward just about for the first time for the Hungarians. Barb. And as it stands, with something like 11 minutes to go to half-time, nil-nil, and the draw is the worst possible result for England's hopes. Just to repeat again, a victory for Romania would certainly open up the way again to give England a chance of qualifying for Spain. But at the moment, it's the red-shirted Hungarians. Miljoshi couldn't keep it in play, or could he? No, it's a goal kick. The Hungarians still have Norway and Switzerland to play in Budapest, but even if they won both these games and lost this one, and lost to England at Wembley, well be a corner, well that was certainly a corner. And if they lost to England at Wembley as well, then England's superior goal difference would be enough to take them through, even if the Hungarians beat Switzerland and Norway in the two Budapest games. Samesh. Danu, Jordanescu. Okay, we're going to start coming forward now, the Romanians. The ball played there for Kamataru from Jordanescu. And she's trying to get all the way through, but couldn't quite make it beaten in the end by Neil Yoshi. And the pass there from Nikvidia going straight to a Hungarian who could thankfully put it away into touch. But a good promising break there by the Hungarians. And the, there have been one or two of them without really a clear chance being opened up. Balint's getting that one away. Montano. Bazikash. Trying to get Fish on the move, but Stefanescu, the sweeper, and Captain of Romania getting it back quite comfortably to his goalkeeper. And here come Romania again. Balint. Dano to Samesh. Jordanescu went for a run on the right-hand side. It's Balac again, playing it for Chisan. Stefanescu. Frustrating for all England fans watching this because the Romanians are having so much more of the game just can't get that vital goal that will settle them a little bit as I say the pressure is enormous on them a great banner saying now or never and the newspapers this morning proclaiming quite boldly we await the victory as the ball is played in the game too far that time from Stefanescu not giving the number nine Kamataru here he is the big fellow though he is a chance of getting in there with a the header
Stefanescu. Negrila. Now Krishan. The cross coming in there, safely held again by the keeper, much too close to the Hungarian keeper to give the forward any chance at all. Fazikas, his pass cut out here, Stefanescu for Romania. Continue to have more of the game. Beldanu, the midfielder, to little Pishan. Jordanescu, and the throw to Romania. Oh. Well, the boos came up because the linesman indicated instead a throw to the Hungarian. Montano, Toropchik, and a throw to Hungary. Martos will take it. Here's Toropchik, given a yard of space and a bit of encouragement. Could be deadly, as it is, he gets a free kick. One two three four five. 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 One two three four five.
Welcome back to Bucharest then for the second half of this World Cup qualifier between Romania and Hungary. The Romanians in the yellow shirts now attacking the goal to our right. Nil-nil after a first half that was immensely disappointing. And so far that Romania didn't score, which of course is what England badly want to help their chances of qualification. But the quality of the football was so poor that I'm bound to say that when you look at how poor it was and you realize at times how well England can play how on earth is it that we've got ourselves into the mess we have in group four well, it's a free kick for the Romanians who beat England here 2-1 and came to Wembley and drew nil nil they took three points out of four from us and on the evidence of the first half you wonder why Stoika now, number 10 for Romania. To Montana. And a throw to the Hungarians. Who scarcely made a chance themselves, but have defended in depth. And have allowed the Romanians one or two half chances, which in the first half came to nothing. Balac with the free kick for Romania then on the far side with a number forward now in poise. Samesh, the big man from the back is up in there and so too was Kamataru who got the header in there but not nearly the power or the direction. And so it's a goal kick to Hungary. Now a throw to the Romanians. The Hungarians having beaten uh, Romania 1-0 in Budapest in that leg of the qualification and played at times really brilliantly to do it. Yet in the end the Romanians might have got themselves an equaliser. Well that was 1-0 and it's 0-0 here in this return game in Bucharest. But here's Stoika trying to get the ball through towards his front men. And a chance now for Balak with a shot. He could keep the save with his legs and knew very little about it. It was a good break and the first real clear opening that has come the Romanians' way. As the ball is played in here for Balak. It comes off the keeper's legs know so little about it and while they were on that slow motion Kamataru the number nine went diving in for Romania with a header that was maybe two or three yards wide of the post so at least that's a fairly brisk start by the Romanians in the second half it's got the crowd firmly behind them again and Hungary with the goal kick Kish Backward header almost fell for Keach again until Stefanescu got in for Romania. Well, the chance that Balac had, he showed in the first half once or twice that he was a good striker of the ball. I don't think he really struck it properly. However, I'm sure that Metzaros in the Hungarian goal wouldn't have seen it from that sort of range. Ilyashi almost played a teammate in trouble there. Tarokšić. Might be stopped there by Samish. Montanu. Arach. Stoika. Balac again. And the Hungarians getting that away once more. But here's Balac yet again. Fish stopped by Negrila. Stefanescu. It comes to Negrila again. Lacking in encouragement, but that was a, a pass that was clearly going to lead to nothing. And Balac getting uh, Prishan on the wrong foot. And Torokchik very deep indeed with Nilyashi for Hungary. Cut out again though by Stefanescu. Stoika now for Romania. Played in again there towards Karamaru. And almost getting it through to Prishan. But 
again the Hungarians get it away but it's a much more promising start to the second half by the Romanians but now they face a free kick against them to the Hungarians which Balint will take so we might be getting uh, a substitution and it's Kish who is going off I fancy it might be Muller coming on so Kish goes off and the Hungarians of course two substitutions allowed and here he is on the ball straight away of people up there, Tarovchik as well, but a little cushioned header there by the number two, Negrilia. A throw to Hungary. Taru making a big leap for this one, beaten by Garaba. And here's Stoiker again. That's a throw to Romania. Well, the linesman clearly showed one way decided the other so the lines would show the other way and in fact in the end it is a throw to the Hungarians Korovcik good break here by Muntanu got a few up as well the Romanians Jordanescu And Muller beaten though. And a little one too, and Montana was very nearly getting through there himself. Balac. It's a much better start to the second half. Christian playing the ball in again there. And Balac again, looking to make a bit of glory for himself, but in the end it was charged down again by the Hungarian defence. And now possibly a break for the Hungarians. Iliashi. They try to hold him back, but Niliashi with just Stefanescu now between him and a chance at goal. And in the end, it's pushed behind for the goal kick. And a corner to me, I must say, but a little more activity now. Balint getting in first for the Hungarians. And a free kick for the foul by Tolovcic holding back to Krishan, the number seven. And a free kick to Romania. Much more purposeful now, the Romanians. Krishan trying to get the ball through to Kamataru. The keeper's right out of his goal. And Kamataru, the keeper's right out. If Balac can get in there, the keeper got back though. And Garaba was there in any case to make the tackle. And in turn, find his number 10, Rab. Kazikash stopped by uh, Montano. And a free kick to the Romanians. They want to keep this momentum going now. They've made a good, purposeful start to this second half. Here's Samesh. Stoika. Space over on the left. Stoika now finding Kamataru. In turn, getting it through to the fullback. He was right in there, Negrila. Stefanescu wisely spreading it wide there for the fullback Montano. And the cross coming in again, and once more it's Garaba getting it away for the Hungarians. Stoika now, the little flip through there. And uh, Jorganescu just beaten for the punch there by the keeper. In fact, he was fractionally offside. And here come Hungary again with Muller the substitute. Muller, who played against England in Budapest in June, 
on for Keish. Muller's a midfielder. They got rid of the front man and brought on the midfielder. Content, no doubt, in packing things to the middle of the field and at the back to make things even more difficult for the Hungarians. And the free kick this time is going to the foul on Kishan by Garaba. And another free kick for the Romanians. Well, this is much more like it in the second half now crowd enjoying it a little bit more but with 10 minutes of the second half gone it's still nil-nil but a match where England are supporting 100% the yellow shirts of Romania that's too hard for the number nine Kamataru so it'll be a goal kick Rab Muller and Garaba surely with all the time that he needs so it's a throw to Hungary which Muller will take Martosh. A good jump there by Samesh. Balac. Samesh again, playing it forward quickly, trying to get to Kamataru on his way, but here's Balint. Kalaba again. But conceding the free kick. Jordanescu, Balac, surely held back, and another free kick to the Romanians. Now, can they achieve something with this? Just outside the Hungarian penalty area. Montanu looks as though he's lining up to maybe chip it. Kamataru's there, Samish coming up from the back. Balac and Christian in there so Montano played short and off the number nine who was offside in any case Kamataru and a goal kick or rather a, a free kick Stefanescu and here's Toracic Niliyoshi Stefanescu the sweeper who I think realises now that they've got to push a few forward Prishan to Stefanescu floated there towards Balac on the far side and also well, it's Balac on the ball at the moment, but he was beaten by Garaba. He had uh, Kamataru in very close support. And the Hungarians at the moment, all they can do is just whack the ball upfield to get themselves a breather. Because the Romanians are coming at them again. Montano. Cross coming in again there, but that time it was Stoika. And the catch that was not a difficult one there for the goalkeeper Metzarosh. And a foul that time by the number six Bell Danu. Balac inside for Bell Danu. Nothing very inventive about their approach at the moment. 
but here's Negrelia. Again, the high ball hit towards the big centre forward. A real and old fashioned English type of centre forward. Montano, the left back. And the Hungarians are making a second substitution. They're going to take off Torokcik. Well, he's a very talented player in bursts, and today was not one of his days. I fancy that Sabo coming on. already had Muller on into the midfield and so clearly with Sabo on the uh, Hungarians are packing that midfield more and more leaving just Fajikash up with Yelyoshi to make the odd break from the back as well So Sapo and Muller, the two substitutes on for the Hungarians, they can't bring any more on. Here's Romania again, and it clearly is going to be just a battle now for Romania to try and beat their way past the packed midfield and packed defence that the Hungarians have put between them and goalkeeper Metsaros. Tadakash will be pretty lonely up front now for the red-shirted Hungarians. They're wasting a bit of time, and it's a free kick now for Romania. Stefanescu with it, Balac. The cross coming in and again too close to the keeper. Their crossing has not been all that good. Tolt. It's a long, long break by him. The ball somehow miraculously kept in and played back to George Christian by Nikita. Well, with the Hungarians having packed their midfield and defence and the Romanians unable to find much in the way of a clear opening, at this moment you'd have to say the prospects of the Romanian victory could be a little bleak. The Romanians now making a substitute themselves uh, Chimpanu's coming on and they're uh, taking off Prisha. Well, Chimpanu's a forward and they certainly need a bit of strike force now to support the number nine Kamataru. Ball now with Negrila. Balac. Balac again, sneaking away along that byline, did very well indeed, but his cross was just a little too hard, and it sends Muller on his way now, with a bit of space here for the Hungarians. Still nil-nil. Sapo's gone through the middle, but it's cut out, and here are Romania again. Ionescu. Jordanescu now for Montano. And a hello! Well saved there by the keeper from Simpanu. The substitute, his first touch could really have been one of glory for him. Because the cross was laid on superbly there. And the keeper did well to save it. The corner's been taken, the play's going on. It's on the far side as Mitzaros turns that header from Simpano away. Agreda again. Eldanu. Sami. Pushing their back men forward now more and more, the Romanians searching for this breakthrough goal. Stefanescu, and it 
forward the crowd are shouting getting a little impatient now Eldano again and that time the ball coming off the Hungarian defender Garaba for the court crossing again no problems there for the Hungarians getting it away Grida, Cimpano, a little reverse ball cut out there by Neil Yoshi. Not quite the pace though to get the better of a couple of Romanian defenders and it'll be a throw to Romania. with every passing minute now they've held Romania here nil-nil with 25 minutes left Totes played in here for Sapo Chamesh Negrilla shirts are outnumbered so almost two to one it seems in that in and around that Hungarian penalty area this is Raab here's Gigliossi who seems not to have an awful lot of running left in him but the Hungarians have already put on both their substitutes and that was rather a lazy ball quite easily cut out by the Romanians Negrilia playing it through again for Jordanescu Cimpano Dano and that shift that was badly weighted there and it gave none of the front men the slightest opportunity. He mentioned that the Yoshi looks to have little running left in him. I think he's struggling quite badly at the moment. The Hungarian number eight who is so influential for them in midfield. But of course the Hungarians are got both their substitutes on and he will have to stick it out now a throw to Romania halfway through the second half the score still nil-nil Negrilia for Romania Cimpanu Beldanu to Stefanescu to Muntanu free kick given yes perhaps a little harshly from the Hungarian point of view but it was given and it's a free kick to Romania about a yard and a half outside the penalty area Valach is behind it Samesh is close at hand as well Balac hitting it straight at the wall. Beldano missing his kick completely. And Balac almost got something unexpected out of that. But in the end, the flag was up for offside. And it will be a free kick to the Hungarians. Practically the whole of this second half has been played in the Hungarian half of the field. Score remains at nil-nil. I think the Hungarians have had maybe two, three attacks in this uh, second half. Cimpano, here's another Romanian attack setting on its way, but Cimpano stopped in the end, and it's Bajikash. And a throw for Romania. Stefanescu Shamesh Shamesh once again 
but Negrila here. Not a very good cross, but it still came to uh, a Romanian, Hildano. And a chance for Chimonescu. Oh, and then a deflection there from the substitute, Chimpanu, behind for the Romanian corner. Which Balaj will take. Shamesh is up from the back again, the big number four. It's not going to reach him. A chance for Negrillo to turn it back in again. Not a bad looking cross, but again the Hungarians are there, but yet again the Romanians caught in an offside position. And there are 20 minutes remaining. And the linesman flagging that there was a push, I think, by the Romanian, was it? Yes, by the Romanian, a free kick to Hunt. Stoika. Negrila. Chimpano. Didn't shield it quite well enough. Bazikash getting a little touch there, but Stefanescu for Romania. Showing a lot of skill and coolness and perseverance as well. And in the end, he gets a free kick for Romania. They are remonstrating with the Austrian referee. They wanted the advantage played so that they could get on with it. Balac now. Delgado. Samesh. Driven one there. Oh, 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 oh. against the crossbar and behind. But it looked for a moment as though Romania were going to sneak the goal they so badly want. It was a tremendous drive in the first place from Samesh. Some good play here by Mitsaros. And the number six, Beldano, turning it, flipping the crossbar. And the keeper is in a lot of trouble. That really was the closest that Romania have been to a goal all afternoon that would have just crept in by the far post. And they almost were able, in fact, that shot just clipped the bar. Nil-nil. Mitsaros is all right to continue with 16 minutes remaining. Garaba getting it away. And the Romanians are bringing on uh, Siklanu, who's a midfield player, in a moment. And they're going to take off their number six, Pildanu. So Siklanu is on. And Negrillo playing a long ball there again. Balac. Tireless little number 11 on the far side. 
His cross coming in, and it wasn't a bad one. He almost got it through to Camperano. Montana battling away there, getting his cross in, but behind for the goal kick. Exactly a quarter of an hour left now, with Romania nil, Hungary nil. Reminding you, if you tuned in late, that it's a match that means so much to England's chances of qualifying for the finals of the World Cup in Spain next summer. And a victory for the yellow-shirted Romanians is really what is required above everything else. At the moment, it's nil-nil. Kamataru, who's been able to make little impression apart from the opening few minutes of the game on this Hungarian defence and indeed they made mistakes early on but they've tightened up considerably the Hungarians as their morale has improved the longer they've held the Romanians at bay. Ciclanu then with the free kick for Romania. Reflected there, allowed to go a long way and in the end it's Muller who gets it here for Fazikash. Ciclano again with the Romanian throw. They know that there's a great urgency in everything they have to do now with under a quarter of an hour left. Ciclano getting into that Hungarian box but making the most stupid dive and not convincing any of his own supporters, let alone the referee, and a goal kick quite properly given. I don't know if that silly dive of Ciclano suggests the desperation that's beginning to creep into the Romanian play. Their only chance is to try and keep playing good football. There's a good cross coming in there again, and the keeper only half got to that one, Mitsaros, and Fala putting it back in once more. There are plenty of Romanians up. There are plenty of Hungarians back, though. Played wide here on the right outside towards Negrilia, but here's Stefanescu. Negrilia again. Again, that long, long cross. And again, the Hungarians equal to it. Rab getting it away. Balac. Another measured cross, but another high one. And well off the target there. Kamataru again. goodness goes where, except that it goes very conveniently for Zabo, one of the Hungarian substitutes. Muller, the other substitute, Zabo, and an offside this time against Niliossi. Twelve minutes left. Twelve minutes in which England supporters are crying out for the Romanians to score a vital goal. Negrilia putting it in again. Put it down again by the big centre forward, but his knockdowns aren't all that accurate. Kamataru, and that one gave Balak a little chance, except that by his persistence, he got himself a corner, and the Hungarians are calling everybody back into their own penalty area as the Romanians push a lot forward. Samesh with a head up at the bounce was merciful there to the goalkeeper, Metzaros. And he's just happy, as you can see there, to clear his lines, get the ball into touch, give everybody a breather, give the Hungarian a chance to organise the, to organise themselves in defence again. And to force the Romanians to come from deep. The ball just fractionally out of play, and so that's a throw for Hungary. About 11 minutes left.
free kick is given to the Hungarians, presumably for the number nine Kamataru jumping at an opponent. But he made the most monstrous contact with his head, and the ball flew back into his own half. Histrionics there from uh, Shalai, number five. Staggering around and uh, trying to catch the referee's eye and presumably at the same time to whittle away a few more seconds. The referee at the moment saying that he doesn't want any trainers on, that if Shalai wants any treatment, he'll have to go off to get it. And the Austrian referee being very firm about that. So it'll be interesting to see how long the Hungarians want to play with ten men. Well, they're not going to play with ten men at all because Shalai comes straight back on to the booze of the Bucharest crowd. And it's a free kick then to Hungary, and they really are wasting some time, and I think a yellow card to Balint. Number three, Laszlo Balint becomes the third man to get a yellow card. And he, he won't turn around and show his number. Well, that could mean more trouble if he doesn't, and he has now. And as you can see, the Romanians want the referee to add on as much time as possible for these uh, stoppages. But it's Hungary on the ball at the moment, with Sabo on the far side. Little chip there for Neil Yoshi. Inside again for Sabo, who's made a good break here for Hungary. This could be critical, though, in the end. It was Samesh who got an important header in there for Romania. And here comes the number two, Negrilia. Chimpanu to Chiklanu. Negrilla. And again, that long centre hoisted in once more, and the keeper gathering it so calmly and clearly. And so often uh, we criticise our players for just aimlessly hitting long, high balls in the hope that we're going to do something with them. And that's exactly what the Romanians are doing against Hungary this afternoon. Hoping, no doubt, to capitalise on the heading ability of Kamataru, their number nine. At the moment, he shows very little sign of making a breakthrough. Four header there, giving Pashakash possession. Here's Rab. Looked on again there for the number 16, Chimpanu. This is Muller. With a break from the back by Martos. The Hungarians could be dangerous on these breaks now, and that's a nice little cross coming in, but it was Shamish once again getting it away, this time to Balac. And now maybe with a few Hungarians forward, there might be a chance for Romania to make a good, worthwhile break. Balac on the ball again. Played here this time for Chiklanu. And an offside on the far side against uh, Jordanescu. About seven minutes remaining. Jump by Stefanescu, and again, but Pazikas got the better of him. Nice little dainty footwork on the ground, holding the ball up and holding Romania up for a moment. But here comes Siklanu, played in for Jordanescu. Balac, Siklanu, Jordanescu, and Raab was there to intercept for Hungary. Bazikash, Hungarians just content at the moment to keep possession, to open up with an attack forward if they see the possibility there, but above all, keep possession, and above all, to stay disciplined and concentrated in defence. At the moment, it's Neil Yoshi for them, and things looking bleak for the Romanians, and concentrating not too good for England, but here come Romania again, and the Romanian dive when Balint made no contact, and the referee overruled any thoughts of a free kick. You can see five minutes remaining. 
Nil nil the score. Balach. Balach trying to make the breakthrough himself, but the bounce wouldn't go for him. And they covered up well at the back there, the Hungarians. And then Miljoshi taking more time than he should have done. And the Romanians getting a throw. Jordanescu. And four minutes remaining, a throw to Hungary. And the crowd, pretty silent. And now pretty disillusioned. They came here with such high hopes of Romania getting such a valuable victory against the Hungarians that would virtually have ensured them qualifying for Spain. But now the time is quickly running out for them. And uh, again, these red-shirted Hungarians, but Tote was caught a little bit there. Red-shirted Hungarians seem at the moment to be well in control of the situation. Sapo, the substitute. Shall I to Sapo? Lovely little chip through this time now. For Muller, played in again towards Fazikash, and the keeper just got to that one. Ciclanu. Being chased by Raab. Fjordanescu couldn't force his way through. Stoika again. And it's all a bit of a muddle in there until it comes off for Hungarian. It stopped from going for a corner by the keeper. And two minutes now remain. Romania nil, Hungary nil. Battle out there between the two substitutes, Siklanu and Mula. And a free kick to the Romanian. Siklanu with it. Chimpanu couldn't get to it because Martos was there for the Hungarians, who must feel that one more big effort now collectively, and they will have got at least a very, very good draw here in Bucharest. Coming forward again, Fazikash, the Romanians having pushed so many forward, prepared to take a few risks at the back. Stefanescu trying to battle away with Fazikash. Oh, and taking a mighty kick at him as well. In his frustration, but that's no excuse. And he's lucky not to be spoken to for the referee. A free kick to Hungary. In the last minute of the game, surely a bit of time to be added on for stoppages. And Muller with the kick. Hit towards Neil Yashi, and the flag is up. Now, Balac again for the Romanians. There won't be many more chances. Stoika right up there. And hit across the goal there, but 
wide. Well, it was really a hopeful long kick, and it was a hopeful shot there by Stoika. And you can see there again just how wide it was going. And over the last quarter of an hour, there has been an absolute air of desperation about uh, Romania's play. They hardly kept their heads. And they hardly made a chance. We're into time that the Austrian referee has added on now. Hungary are almost there with the point they want, which is not a good result for England. Though there are still so many permutations even now. Here's Martosh taking it up there more to eat up a few more seconds than to go for anything more ambitious than that. And now he's got to get back and mark Balac. And again, the Hungarians get it away. Certainly England did all that they had to do against the Hungarians with that win in Budapest. When you look at the defeat of England in Norway and in Switzerland, they were bad enough. But when you see, really, the poor quality of the football that the Romanians have played here in front of their own crowd today, what you have to also question is the fact that they took three points out of four from us. And that maybe was, if we don't qualify, that maybe is where it all happened. Tano making a last desperate attempt and now the centre forward with a shot and a good save from Kamataru by the keeper Metsaros right at the death when it looked as though the despairing Romanians might yet save themselves it was a good save by the keeper and it remains nil-nil but it's been a poor performance by the Romanians and the goalless draw they achieved at Wembley and the victory they achieved over England in Bucharest here. They could yet be the critical points if England failed to go to Spain, a task that has made the more difficult because of the goalless draw here in Bucharest this afternoon between Romania and Hungary. The points are there with the games played, with Romania on top, with seven points, England with seven points there, Hungary six, Norway six, and Switzerland four. No, they weren't the points. You'll have to edit around that, lads. The points were wrong there. So the Hungarian teams go off well satisfied with the point, knowing that the task that England have is all the more difficult after that goalless draw here in Bucharest. A final score then here, in Bucharest, Romania nil, Hungary nil, and now back to London.